Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send data to Azure IoT Hub from a standalone MQTT client. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Kudzai and I regularly publish Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 tutorials on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get them as they come out. Now the Azure IoT Hub is not a generic MQTT broker. So in this instance, I'll be showing you how to set up your MQTT client to be able to send MQTT messages to the Azure IoT Hub as it would any other broker. So to do that, I'll be using my Groove Epic Industrial Controller to read temperature sensor data and use Node-RED to create an MQTT client to send the temperature data to Azure IoT Hub. So here I've got my Groove Epic Controller with a temperature probe connected to its analog input module on the rack here. Okay, so to register my Groove Epic controller, I'll log into the Azure portal and then I'll select my IoT Hub. And then under my IoT Hub, I'll scroll down to the IoT devices, click on it. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got two devices already registered under my IoT Hub which is my Raspberry Pi and my IIoT core box. Now to add my Groove Epic controller, I'll click on the new button. And then I'll give it a name, which is my Groove Epic controller. And then I'll leave the authentication type as symmetric key. And also I'll let Azure IoT auto generate the keys. And then I'll make sure that the connect this device to an IoT hub is enabled. And then I'll click save. Okay, so I've successfully registered my Epic controller device. Now to start sending data to this IoT hub using a standalone MQTT client, I first need to generate an authentication token. To do that, I'll go to shared access policies here. And then I'll select the IoT Hub Owner Policy, which allows me to read and write to the IoT Hub. And then here I'll copy the primary key connection string. Now to generate the authentication token, I must use the Device Explorer utility. So I'll put it up. And then I'll paste my primary key connection string here. Click on that. And then here I'll go under the management tab. So as you can see, we've got three devices registered under this IoT hub. So I'll select my Epic controller and then I'll click on SAS token. And then I'll click on the generate button. And then I'll copy this SAS token up to here. And then I'll paste it here. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to access the Node-RED editor running on my Groove Epic controller. And to do that, I'm going to type in the IP address of my Groove Epic controller. Slash Node-RED. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll drag and inject node here. And then here I'll set the interval for reading the temperature data to 5 seconds. Click done. And then I'll scroll down here and drag a node that would allow me to read the temperature of my Groove Epic controller module. Double click on it to edit its properties. And then I'll add new pack device. And then here I'll put localhost. Since Node-RED is running locally, and then I'll click add. And then I'll select the data type that I want to read, which is an analog input. And then I'll specify the tag name of the temperature, which is panel underscore temperature. And then I'll enter the display name here. And then I'll click done. 
okay and then i'll connect the two okay so our temperature is currently in degrees fahrenheit so i need to convert that to degrees celsius to do that i'm going to use a function block i'll drag it onto the canvas and then i'll double click on it and then here i'll put this equation that converts degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius and then I'll enter the name for my node and then I'll click done and connect the two Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to drag this MQTT node which effectively makes our device an MQTT client. So I'll click on the MQTT node to edit its properties. And then I'll click on the edit button. Okay, so first of all our Azure IoT Hub broker port number is 8383. And then under server here, I'll add the Azure IoT Hub broker address. So as you can see here, the Azure IoT Hub broker uses SSL authentication. The name of my IoT Hub dot Azure Devices dot net. And then the client ID here is the name of my device which is my epic controller and then let's go to the security tab to enter our security details and then i'll enter the username here which is the name of my rt hub dot azure devices dot net slash the device name which is my epic controller and then for the password here we need to use the authentication token that we generated earlier so I'll copy that and paste it here and then we go back to our connection tab here we click enable SSL and then we add new TSL configurations we click add okay and then we click update now here under topic azure iot hub uses a specific topic structure which is devices slash the name of your device which is my epic controller slash messages slash events and then you can go on to extend it from there which i'm going to do by putting temp data here and then here I'll enter a display name for my node. And then we click done. And then I'll connect the two. Okay, so we've successfully created an MQTT client that reads the temperature data and publishes that to the IoT Hub. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this. Okay, so as you can see, we're successfully connected and sending data. But how do we verify that the data is actually getting to the Azure IoT Hub? To do that, we need to use the Device Explorer utility. So I'm going to open my Device Explorer. And then I'll quickly go back to my Azure portal. And then here I'll copy the primary key for my connection string. Then I'll paste it here. 
and then if we go under the management tab here you can see there's three devices that are currently configured under our iot hub now to see if the data is currently being published to the iot hub under the my epic controller device you go to the data tab select my epic controller and then click monitor So as we can see here, we're receiving our temperature data and the temperature is currently at 16 degrees Celsius. So if you found this video useful, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more IoT videos like this as they come out.